Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I want to do a little review of the new Marc Jacobs highlighter and I want to talk about some of the things I've been enjoying, like some of my faves. Um, not necessarily stuff that's brand new, just stuff I've been um, enjoying. And as you can see behind me, it's raining cats and dogs and chickens and everything, but the show must go on and I have to film um, the way my life is. My life is like so hectic and so crazy. I've been trying so hard to at least film once a week because when I film, I have to edit the same day. Um, I have a son with special needs and it's like everything revolves around him. I have to follow his schedule. Right now he's in school, so I decided to film anyway. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's ginormous. I mean, I know his packaging is always big, but for some reason, because I figured it's a highlighter, I wasn't expecting it to be, um, this big. And it's called the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Illuminizer. As soon as I saw this was launching, I knew I wanted to get it. Like, I need another highlighter, but you live once, right? So this is what the packaging looks like. How beautiful is this? The only thing, fingerprint city. Like this is gonna look so horrible over time. Let me see if I can wipe it off a little bit, but the packaging is absolutely stunning. This white in the back and the gold in the front. It's so pretty. Um, it retails for $49 and that's about like a standard, I would say Marc Jacobs um, price. It has 10 grams of product. Now, the packaging look just as big as the bronzer, but this, uh, the bronzer has, I think, 25 grams, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the bronzer has 25 grams. This has 10 grams. It's so pretty. I haven't swatched it or anything. It has the same little, uh, whatchamacallit, this little pressy thing here. You open it and this is what the highlighter looks like it's so pretty there's a mirror behind here I'm gonna leave this on because I don't want to blind you guys but this is what it looks like it's so pretty I haven't swatched it like I said it looks like a beautiful rose like a gold with like a nice rosy undertone I think it's very 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 brown uh, girl friendly and so I'm gonna go ahead and actually swatch it Ooh, so pretty. It's really gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And I usually like to put my highlight, 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 highlighter on after I spritz my face. I'm just going to do a little spritzy spritz here. Then I'm going to put it on. That's a nice big mirror. Anyway, where's my brush? So I'm using my Anastasia brush. And I'm going to go in. You get a lot of product. Whew. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely stunning. Wow. I mean, I own a lot of highlighters, but I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. This is so beautiful. Wow. That rosy undertone. Hmm. This is very, very dark skinned friendly. All right, Mark, I see you. <laughs> Very dark skin friendly. Like if you're darker than me, I'm into 50 Mac. My goodness, this is gonna look amazing, 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 amazing on you. A little bit on my nose. Wow. This is gorgeous. I love this. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway, moving on to some of my favorite things that I've been loving. It's not a lot, but I just want to mention it. And the first thing, um, 
I want to talk about is this Jouer. Um, this is a their enhancing lip balm. I got this off of the Sephora um, website because I had seen Makeup Cheryl here on YouTube um, talk about it. Now, this is supposed to plump your lip while smoothing it out. And it's like less than $20. And I'm saying like, who doesn't want like plump, smooth lips, right? So I've been using this, I would say maybe about two and a half, three weeks. And I've definitely, definitely seen a difference with like the smoothness of my lips, both on um, top and bottom. And the top part looks a, like a little plumper, maybe to my head. But to me, it just looks... I just love the way my lips look and I'm gonna have to get a couple more backups of this and um, I've been putting it on like before I go to bed if I'm in the house I'm not wearing any makeup or anything like that I've just been putting it on my lips and I've been absolutely loving this and like I said I got it off of the Sephora website I've never actually seen Jouer in is any of my local Sephora's this next product that I've been absolutely loving 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 is this um this brow pencil from um, Benefit. This is like maybe the second thing I've ever bought from Benefit. I think I have a blush from them or something. And this is the Brow Contour Pro. Now, if you're like me and you struggle, but you, like you always on the struggle bus with your brows, that's me. Like my brows, they aren't related. They aren't sisters. They're barely friends. Like I can never get my brows right. And I love a beautiful... Just like a nice arched brow. I don't like like the whole Instagram brow where it looks triangular or anything like that. But and I've been using Max Dip Down, which I do love. But you know, I have to dip it. I have to use a brush. But with this, it's so nice. And this is in. I think this is in brown black. Yes, it's uh black brown or brown black, something like that. But it has the little um. These are the push down things, just like a pen. And I've been using the darkest one over here. And you push it down and it pops out. And then you go in with, and it's so precise. It just gets the line perfectly. And then what you have to do when you want this part to go back up, you have to hit whatever is next to it, like the one right next to it. If you try to push down this one, like it's not next to it, it's not gonna go back up. That's what I figured out. And so, and then to clean up the brow, um, of course you use the lighter parts. I've been using this one and this one. This one I've been using like on top of my brow and the lighter one I've been using to like carve the brow out. So it saves a lot of time. I don't have to like go in after I'm done dipping into the concealer to clean up my brows. I've been absolutely, absolutely loving this. I think this is such a genius um, idea. Um, one of the other things I've been loving is this Ole Henriksen under eye banana cream brightening whatever i've been using this i would say for like uh, a month or so and i can see a visible difference with my under eye my concealer looks better my under eyes a little brighter and i don't know if you guys watched my last video but i struggle with dark circles under my eye and a couple years ago i got a chemical burn like right here in my face and like right here and so recently i was at over the past couple months, I've been on a, like, I want to clear my face. I've just been on a kick trying to get my my skin right. Because I hate looking at my skin and seeing all, like, the dark spots. I've tried everything. It's not going away. I started something new. If it works, I'm definitely going to do a review. But back to the cream. It's, like, so good. Because I saw makeup Sheila here on YouTube use it, but her skin's flawless. Her skin looks like glass. I'm trying to get my skin to look like glass. Like, I've been exfoliated. I've been doing all that stuff. But I absolutely love this cream. It just makes my under eyes seem plumper. I love the way my concealer applies now. Definitely, and you don't need a lot. I just put a little bit like under my eye. Like every before my makeup, I put it on. Before I go to bed, I put it on. This has been really, 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 really nice. Um, another product I've been loving is from um, Pat McGrath, and it's her. Let me get the exact name. It's her. Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil, and I have it in Extreme Black. My favorite um, eyeliner pencil has always been the Urban Decay 24-7 um, Different Version Pencil. But the only negative with that pencil, it bleeds a lot. Like about like the fifth or sixth hour or so, it'll start bleeding like right here. And 
I hate the way that looks like when eyeliner bleeds. What I love about this, it's rich, it's creamy, and it does not bleed. And it's so black and so pigmented, and it doesn't matter how long I wear it, it does not bleed at all. Love, 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 love this. And of course, I've been loving her Mothership palette. I did a review on this palette. It's been my favorite. I've been, I mean, I forced myself not to um, wear it in this video today, but this is probably going to be my favorite, like, every month from now on. I can't get enough of it. Although I don't own all her uh, Mothership palettes, I think that's the best one. I think the colors are the most wearable. I think of all the palettes. I think it's just absolutely fantastic. Another thing I've been absolutely loving is this Matte Correct and Conceal palette. And this is in Extra Deep. And this has been so bomb in helping me with these dark circles and the discoloration um, in my lap lines. I've been using the middle two, these two right here, it's a color correct, it's nice and soft and creamy and so rich, it just cancels everything out. This is absolutely, this has been fantastic. I'm so glad I went back and I got it because I wasn't planning on getting it the first time I was picking up stuff from that um, Studio Fix collection. Two more things to talk about and one of them is this lipstick. From By Beauty, and this is their Amuse Bouche lipstick, and this is in Smoked Zatar. It's Z A apostrophe A T A R. It's a stunning color. I think it's a beautiful fall color. So what it looks like? Isn't that pretty? It's such a fall color. Like my, I have a niece that she just loves like purples and stuff. Like I see this and I see her. She would love this. And what I love, because I own quite a few of these lipsticks, they're so creamy and they just glide in your lips and they make your lips feel so nice, it doesn't dry your lips out. I love this lipstick formula, but this color, it's so pretty and it's so fall. It's like perfect, perfect, perfect for fall. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about, and this makes me feel very bougie, <laughs> is this La Mer powder. Now this powder, it's nothing new. Um, this has actually been discontinued. But a couple of months ago, I I was in a mall in Jersey and they had a, um, a CCO in there, you know, the cosmetic company outlet. And I saw this powder and I remember Alyssa, um, not Alyssa Ashley, um, Kelsey Brianna here on YouTube. I love, love, love her channel. She had talked about this maybe two, who knows, I think a year or two ago. And I always wanted to get my hands on it, and it was like so expensive. But everybody talks about this powder, and I know Sephora has it now, but it's the reformulated um, version of this powder. And I've seen reviews um, from a lot of people saying that this formula is better. So when I saw this, and this was like fifty-five bucks, and I know that formula now that's on the new formula that's on Sephora, it's less powder, and I think it's like ninety something or a hundred dollars. So when I saw this, I grabbed it. And I've been loving this and how I've been using it, I go in with my powder brush and this is what it looks like. It has like a nice off white color. It's not like a stark white. It definitely has like a creamy peachy undertone. But I've been using it like right here in my T-zone and like right in the outer corners of my eyes to brighten my eyes. And I think it just smooths everything out. I haven't gone over my entire face with it. I'm a little nervous to do that. But who knows, maybe I will, but that's how I've been using it. I've been absolutely loving it. And everything people have talked about, about this powder, because you know, they don't just say the mare, they say the mare, the powder. <laughs> it's like so, so beautiful. Anyway, guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And to all my new subscribers, because I noticed I got like six or seven new subscribers. Yay, I'm so happy. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and um i'm gonna try to continue to make um videos like this and um do reviews and try to do um, more makeup tutorials anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye guys